Hi, I'm going to tell you about my Mitsubishi Heat Pump Mini Split remote control. And I'm going to tell you how to set a schedule on this. Before you can set the schedule, you have to slide the front cover down. Next, you have to press the set button once. This is located right next to the weekly timer button. This puts the weekly timer schedule into set mode with the day starting on Monday. Each press of the day button advances the day of the week. Press the day button once after Sunday is displayed and you can set one schedule that applies to all of the days of the week. You can later adjust the schedule for changes that apply to specific days. This is the fastest way to set a schedule if you have the same routine most days of the week. And now you're ready to set your first of four schedule settings. Notice the number one on the lower left corner of the screen. You can press the on off button to toggle the unit to go on or off on your first setting of the schedule. Notice how the time and temperature are now displayed. If you do nothing more, the system will go on at midnight and the default temperature, in this case 75 degrees, will be the temperature setting. So the first thing you'll want to do is change the time at which the first schedule comes on. If you wake up, say, at 6 in the morning, try putting that time to 5.10 a.m. Since the default start time is midnight, notice if you press the down arrow, you will go to earlier night time. So if you want to go to 5.10 a.m., you want to press the up arrow and go forward until you reach the desired time. Now you're going to set the temperature. If you want it to go to say 68 degrees, you press the down arrow on the temperature button. So you've just set your first of four daily schedules. Your heat pump comes on at 5:10 a.m. with a setting of 68 degrees Fahrenheit. You're now ready to set your second schedule, so you press the 1 through 4 button one more time. Notice that the lower left corner of the screen now shows the number 2 for the second schedule. Let's say you leave your house most mornings at 8 a.m. Then you might set the next schedule for 7.50 a.m. to turn the heat down to 61 degrees, the lowest setting. In this case, you press the on-off button once to toggle that the heat pump has to be on again at your second schedule setting. Then you're going to press the up arrow on the time key until you get the correct time, in this case 7.50 a.m., and you're going to change the temperature with the down arrow down to 61 degrees Fahrenheit. For the third setting for this weekly schedule, we will set the heat to come on at 5.30 p.m. at 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Press the 1 to 4 button again to get to the third schedule setting. From midnight, you press the down arrow on the time button to bring yourself back to 5.30 p.m. And you're going to press the temperature down arrow to reduce the temperature to 68 once more. For the fourth schedule, we press 1 through 4 again, and then set the time to be 10.30. That's when we're going to go to sleep most nights. And we will set the on off button to go off so that once we do that the temperature setting disappears. So we have the whole system off at 10.30 p.m. So you've just set the same schedule to happen four times a day for every day of the week. Now if you wanted to change one or two days, say for your weekends, you can make changes to the schedule just for those days by pressing the day button until you get to those specific days. Here I'm going to show you how to make that change for Saturday and Sunday. We'll keep the first schedule setting, but we'll change the second schedule setting to bring the temperature down at 11.30 a.m. instead of 7.50. You can do this by pressing the one to four button once and then advancing the time. Next, you're gonna leave the third setting alone but you're going to change the fourth setting to give yourself an extra hour of warmth before you go to bed. After hitting the one to four button once, advance the time to 1130. 
Now you're ready to set your Sunday schedule. So you press the day button once. Then you might want to set the same sleep in time for the first setting. You might want to set your leaving time, in this case, for 10 a.m. And then you might want to set your coming home time a little bit earlier for your third schedule setting if you want to cook your dinner a little bit earlier. So here we're going to press the time in to 3 o'clock. That it'll come back on. And then you might leave the fourth setting the same because it's a, your Sunday night is a school night. When you're satisfied with the weekly schedule configuration, you can press the set button to stop editing the weekly schedule and send it to the unit. So that's how you set your schedule. All you have to do now is press the weekly timer on off button to actually put the schedule in effect. You have to do that while you are pointing the remote to the heating unit. Note, the weekly schedule is fixed and applies to whatever mode you are in, whether that be air conditioning or heating or some other mode. Consequently, you will most likely need to change your weekly schedule when you switch between air conditioning and heating as a mode. It doesn't usually make sense to have the same schedule for heating as for air conditioning. And the basic thing to know is you have four schedule settings and you get to those by pressing the one to four button. You have the day button, which allows you to set your entire schedule for the entire week. And then you can modify it for specific days. And then you have your times and temperatures. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe.